What's up guys, Asad Malik back here. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking for this. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Call of Duty sets introduced at New York Toy Fair. Before we get into it, if my voice sounds a little bit off, that's because I'm kind of sick right now. But let's get right into the images here. Now I was kind of having an issue with finding images for these new Call of Duty sets. So for now this is the only image I could find of the actual booth. So because of that, this is the only image I can use for reference from New York Toy Fair. Hopefully there is another booth, just how like Halo and Destiny had a separate booth with even more sets in them. Hopefully Call of Duty has one, and that way we can get a better look at some newer sets as well. But for now, this is the only image I have, so this is the only one I can use. So yeah, let's take a look at this image here. Now we only have four new sets in this image, so just to get some of the old ones out of the way, starting on the left side, that ATV is an old set. We've actually seen that in stores already. That stealth troop pack with like the laser sights, we've already seen that in stores already as well. We've actually already gotten official images of the new Halo Heroes, I just did a video on that, so if you guys want to see a more in-depth look at these Halo Heroes, go check out that video as well. Then on the right side, the set with the American flag, we've seen that troop pack before, it's another Call of Duty Legends set. But yeah, now that we have some of the old sets out of the way, let's take a look at some of the new sets here. So in this image we get three new Legends set, and we also get one futuristic set, I'm guessing this is Infinite Warfare, but it could be Black Ops 3, I'm not really sure. So let's start things off with the legend set. We'll start at the top. Up there we got a Humvee there that looks really sick. This is a World War II variant of a Humvee, and it looks really nice. It actually looks kind of large compared to the figures here. In my opinion, it looks a little bit too large, and it kind of makes it look a little bit out of scale. But again, sometimes that's necessary to capture all the details. Speaking of details, we get a bunch of really awesome details in this set. Starting with that fabric piece that's used to give the hood of the vehicle. I really like it when Megavox does this. They do this a lot in the Call of Duty line, and give us new materials other than plastic and they implement them in really nice ways like they just did here. So it gives it more of a realistic and accurate vibe, which is really nice. One thing I found pretty sweet about this vehicle is that it does have a machine gun on the side there with a belt fed system, so that's also pretty cool as well. So this Jeep is not just a transport vehicle, it's actually meant for attack as well. As for the figures, the one figure inside the vehicle doesn't look too special in my opinion, but the one on the ground there looks pretty sweet. He has an overcoat, and I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's a new piece that we haven't gotten before, and it looks really sick. This type of overcoat was used a lot back in World War One and World War Two. So if you're into recreating a bunch of historic battles, this is a really nice figure to have in your collection. I can't tell what weapon he's using there. I'm guessing it's a pistol, but I really can't tell. The image gets a little bit blurry at that point. But yeah, overall it's a great set. The highlight of the set is definitely that figure there with the overcoat. And hopefully the set doesn't cost too much, because again, it is quite small. So I'm guessing it's going to be around the $25 price range. On to our next legend set here. We get a small artillery cannon type thing here. And this is pretty sweet as well to get. This almost reminds me of another small artillery cannon that's used in Battlefield 1. But this is the World War II variant, so this is like an upgraded version of that. But from what I can tell, it looks really sweet, it looks pretty accurate, and it does look quite realistic. And what's nice about this set is that you can buy multiples of these, especially if you're trying to make a big mock or like a battlefield. It'd be great to have a bunch of these lined up in your displays. And you get a figure in here, which is also nice as well. So I actually kind of like this set just because of how massable it is. I really like when you can buy sets and just buy multiples of them just to build up your armies. I really like it when Mega Constructs does that, and they did that here, so that's pretty sweet. But yeah, there's not much else to add about this set, it's kind of small, but overall, it is pretty nice, and I'm guessing it's going to be around $8 or so. But yeah, now moving on to our last Legends set, we have another troop pack here, this one's a little bit more interesting in my opinion. Because of that flame trooper we got there, he looks pretty sweet. Now I'm guessing those are all new molds used for that flamethrower there, but this is the first time we've seen this for Call of Duty, so it looks really sweet here. As for the other figures, they don't look too special to me. From what I can tell here, they're just using old molds that have just been recolored. As for the build for this set, I actually kind of like it. They have this wired fence thing going here, and again, they're using different materials, like cloth and rubber and whatnot, to make up this fence, and I love it when Mega Constructs does that. Again, it just adds more realism. It makes the scenes look more accurate to what they would actually look like in real life. And yeah, just like with the last set I covered, this set is, again, really massive. You can buy a bunch of these to build up your armies, and it creates some really nice battle scenes. So again, if you're into the whole historic warfare thing, this is definitely another set that you should pick up. But yeah, that's going to do it for our three new Legends sets. Now let's take a look at our future set here. Again, I'm guessing this is from Infinite Warfare, but I could be wrong on that. But hey, Mega Constructs has never really done a good job of giving us Black Ops 3 sets. So I'm guessing this is going to be Infinite Warfare for sure. If I'm wrong about that though, please let me know down in the comments below. As for what we get in this set, I think it's really cool. We get a bunch of assortments of a bunch of different weapons here. The main build of the set is a weapons rack, so you have an RPG. It looks like you have a shotgun there on it as well. And it looks like one of the figures is passing off an LMG to one of the figures in the back there. The figure on the front there with the baseball cap looks like he's using like a vector type submachine gun. So that's pretty sweet to get as well. It has a red dot sight and everything on it. Then this figure on the left here looks pretty cool. He's wearing like a mask of some sort. I don't know what that is though. I can't really make out if this is like a robotic helmet or if it's just a mask. Because again this image does get quite blurry at this point. But from what I can tell he looks pretty sweet. I don't know what weapon he's holding there. 
I'm guessing it's a pistol, but I could be wrong on that. My favorite thing about this figure is definitely his leg piece there. It has a really nice dark blue and white camouflage going there. That same leg piece can be seen on that figure with the baseball cap as well. But this figure just has a darker color scheme to it, and that mask looks pretty sweet as well. So yeah, he's a pretty cool looking figure, but overall these figures do look great. Now again, I don't know if these are from Infinite Warfare or from Black Ops 3, but I'm guessing they are from Infinite Warfare. And yeah, overall just another great set. Honestly, I was hoping that we'd get something more revolutionary like we just got in that last troop pack that had the laser sights and everything. But this one's a little bit more basic. It's kind of like your run-of-the-mill troop pack that just has a bunch of weapons, a bunch of figures, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, guys, so there's not much else to add about this set. That's pretty much going to do it for this entire Call of Duty New York Toy Fair video. Now, again, I do want to repeat myself here and say that this may not be the only new sets that we've seen at New York Toy Fair. There may have been another booth, but I'm really not sure, as I haven't gotten any images of any new sets beside these ones here. But if I do end up finding new images, I will definitely upload a new video on those as well. But yeah, guys, so let me know what you guys think about these new sets. If you're a fan of the Legends line, then you're definitely going to like this wave a lot. Honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed with it. I was hoping for a bunch of more Infinite Warfare stuff. I think we've gotten a lot of Legends sets to this point, and Mega Cosmos should probably focus on giving us sets from more up-to-date games. But yeah, guys, that's just my opinion. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. Let me know if you guys are excited for these new sets, and let me know which ones you guys will be picking up. And as always, if you guys want to stay up to date with all the latest Mega Constructs news, whether it be Call of Duty, Destiny, Halo, or anything else, make sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of that. And I know I did miss a few Destiny sets yesterday, so I will be uploading a new video today about that as well. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.